ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. I come with you live in liver color on this September 1st, 2019. Hey, did you know today is an amazing day? Why is that? Well, it just happens to be my sister's birthday. Uh, hey, Lucy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lucy. We love you. We miss you. And we would most definitely love to see you soon. And happy birthday. Well, that's it. I guess we got nothing else to do, huh? Well, no. I think we talked about some other stuff. Oh, okay. Well, well first of all, I think where we're headed. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we're actually headed to see my son in Mayflower. They're having a barbecue for today. We got invited, so we're really excited about doing this for the first time with them. So, you know, and I hope you guys are out there doing the same thing. And, you know, make sure that you're safe, though. Are we going to meet somebody important? interesting today. I was just joking about that. Nothing else to do. My sister, Mildred, yeah, the cops, whoa, that looks like a bad accident, y'all. Stay off the alcohol, quit drinking. And don't Unless get on the road. Home. Don't get on the road if you're going to drink. Alright, so check this out. This is Mountain Dew Mystery Drink. Okay. I should tell you straight up that I love Mountain Dew. But I did not like the whiteout. I don't know what this is, but it reminds me of whiteout. And I did not really like the whiteout. So hopefully it's not the same flavor. My girl over here, Charlene, she does not like Mountain Dew at all. It's got too much sugar in it. And uh, she doesn't like it. So we're going to let her try it first. And then I'm going to try it. I didn't want to buy two because, you know, it would have been a waste because she would have drunk the whole thing anyway. So, here we go. I'm opening it up. Charlie, sweetie? Yes. Give it a shot. Remember, don't tell me what you think. You can talk about it, but you can't tell you what you think it is. Drink as much as you please. Not a very good first impression. Alright. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to give it a shot. See if I can figure out what it is. Now we gotta get serious. 
it's so sad. What are these people thinking of pulling out these guns? This, it was an AK-15. Or an AR-15. It was an AR-15. It was an AR-15. What are people thinking, babe? I don't know. You know, the world is definitely not getting any better, and it's not going to. It's not. I mean, it doesn't matter how much we change. I don't think it's going to get better. You know, as much as I love guns, and as much as I am a, a, a Second Amendment person, and as much as I love the fact that I can go get any gun I want, I'm starting to become scared. You know? Yeah. I mean, these people were driving down the highway, not unlike we're doing right now, sweetheart. Yeah. And all those people just got shot up. Somebody was somewhere in a car. Or, oh, we haven't got a lot of information, but they were on the side of the road. They were in a car. They were somewhere. Something was going on, and they just opened fire, and almost, almost 30 people got killed or injured. Does it make any sense to kill innocent people? It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense at all. You no, know, and it makes your heart mourn because you're, you're, we're here and they're in Texas, and you just want to reach your hand out to them when you can. You know. You know, I got a friend of mine on Facebook. I won't say who she is, but she had to put on Facebook that she was checked off as okay from Texas because she lives close to the Texas where the accident happened. Yeah. Or this stuff happened. That's just horrible. Well, y'all, everybody, we need to pray for them people. They need our prayers. You know what? Don't only pray for the people in Texas, but pray for every freaking person on this planet. That's that, right. That, that, that sorry fighting. sons of beaches that's got the gun that's ready to go out there and shoot the next people doesn't do it. He just puts his gun down and says, we, you know, I got a brain. I'm not going to do that. We as a people should be should consider ourselves as family. No matter what race we are. No matter what color you are. What color we are or where we come from. It doesn't matter. We are family and we need to love each other. And we need to be there for each other and pray for each other. We have got to come together. we got to stop this we, madness. We've got to stop the madness. we got to stop the, the violence. We have, we've we got to come together and we've got to make a change. And I, and I pray that one day that, you know, there will be a change. Well, the video's getting long, sweetheart. We could do a whole video on this one day. I know. I just love talking to the people. I know. I do, too. Well, I need y'all to do me a huge and glorious and amazing favor, okay? God bless America. God bless you. God bless our president. And pray for the world. And I'd like to say one more thing. All right, sweetie. You got the floor. Pray for the people that are in Dorian's way. Pray that they're safe. Amen. Dorian is not being nice right now, from what I hear. No, she's not. No, she's not. Right. And we're headed there next month, right? We are. We're headed that way. Yeah, we're headed that way next month, hopefully. We'll see y'all next time. See y'all. We love y'all. Have a good one. Be safe. Be safe. And don't drink too much this weekend. Don't drink and drive. Don't ever drink and drive. <laughs>